a wasp is any insect of the order Hymenoptera and suborder Apocrita that is neither a bee nor an ant. Almost every pest insect species has at least one wasp species that preys upon it or parasitizes it, making wasps critically important in natural control of their numbers, or natural biocontrol. Parasitic wasps are increasingly used in agricultural pest control as they prey mostly on pest insects and have little impact on crops. Taxonomy The majority of wasp species are parasitic, and the ovipositor is used simply to lay eggs, often directly into the body of the host. The most familiar wasps belong to Ecleta, a division of Apocrita, whose ovipositors are adapted into a venomous sting, though many Ecleate species do not sting. Ecleta also contains ants and bees, and many wasps are commonly mistaken for bees, and vice versa. In a similar respect, insects called velvet ants are technically wasps. The suborder Symphita, known commonly as sawflies, differ from members of Apocrita by lacking a sting, and having a broader connection between the Mesosoma and Mtesoma. In addition to this, Symphita larvae are mostly herbivorous and caterpillar like whereas those of Apocrita are largely predatory. A much narrower and simpler but popular definition of the term wasp is any member of the Ecleate family Vespidae, which includes the genera known in North America as yellow jackets and hornets. In many countries outside of the Western Hemisphere, the vernacular usage of wasp is even further restricted to apply strictly to yellow jackets. Categorizations The various species of wasps fall into one of two main categories, Solitary wasps and social wasps. Adult solitary wasps live and operate alone, and most do not construct nests. All adult solitary wasps are fertile. By contrast, social wasps exist in colonies numbering up to several thousand individuals and build nests a euro, but in some cases, not all of the colony can reproduce. In some species, just the wasp queen and male wasps can mate whilst the majority of the colony is made up of sterile female workers. Characteristics The following characteristics are present in most wasps, two pairs of wings, an ovipositor, or stinger, few or no thickened hairs, except Mutilidae, Bradenobaeonidae, Scoliidae. Nearly all wasps are terrestrial. Only a few specialized parasitic groups are aquatic. Predators or parasitoids mostly on other terrestrial insects. Most species of Pompilidae, specialize in using spiders as prey, and various parasitic wasps use spiders or other arachnids as reproductive hosts. A pair of talons, biology, genetics, in wasps, as in other Hymenoptera, sexes are significantly genetically different. Females have two in number of chromosomes and come about from fertilized eggs. Males, in contrast, have a haploid number of chromosomes and develop from an unfertilized egg. Wasps store sperm inside their body and control its release for each individual egg as it is laid. If a female wishes to produce a male egg, she simply lays the egg without fertilizing it. Therefore, under most conditions in most species, wasps have complete voluntary control over the sex of their offspring. Anatomy and sex, anatomically, there is a great deal of variation between different types of wasp. Like all insects, wasps have a hard exoskeleton covering their three main body parts. These parts are known as the head, mesosoma and mtesoma. Wasps also have a constricted region joining the first and second segments of the abdomen known as the pecial. Like all insects, wasps have three sets of two legs. In addition to their compound eyes, Wasps also have several simple eyes known as ocelli. These are typically arranged in a triangular formation just forward of an area of the head known as the vertex. It is possible to distinguish between sexes of some wasp species based on the number of divisions on their antennae. For example, male yellowjacket wasps have 13 divisions per antenna, while females have 12. Males can in some cases be differentiated from females by virtue of having an additional visible segment in them tesema. The difference between sterile female worker wasps and queens also varies between species but generally the queen is noticeably larger than both males and other females. Wasps can be differentiated from bees, which have a flattened hind basitarsus. Unlike bees, wasps generally lack plumose hairs. Diet 
Generally, wasps are parasites or parasitoids as larvae, and feed on nectar only as adults. Many wasps are predatory, using other insects as food for their larvae. In parasitic species, the first meals are almost always derived from the host in which the larvae grow. Several types of social wasps are omnivorous, feeding on a variety of fallen fruit, nectar, and carrion. Some of these social wasps, such as yellow jackets, may scavenge for dead insects to provide for their young. In many social species, the larvae provide sweet secretions that are consumed by adults. Adult male wasps sometimes visit flowers to obtain nectar to feed on in much the same manner as honey bees. Role in ecosystem, pollination, while the vast majority of wasps play no role in pollination, a few species can effectively transport pollen and therefore contribute for the pollination of several plant species, being potential or even efficient pollinators. In a few cases such as figs pollinated by fig wasps, they are the only pollinators, and thus they are crucial to the survival of their host plants. Wasp parasitism, with most species, adult parasitic wasps themselves do not take any nutrients from their prey, and, much like bees, butterflies, and moths, those that do feed as adults typically derive all of their nutrition from nectar. Parasitic wasps are typically parasitoids, and extremely diverse in habits, many laying their eggs in inert stages of their host, or sometimes paralyzing their prey by injecting it with venom through their ovipositor. They then insert one or more eggs into the host or deposit them upon the host externally. The host remains alive until the parasitoid larvae are mature, usually dying either when the parasitoids pupate, or when they emerge as adults. Nesting habits the type of nest produced by wasps can depend on the species and location. Many social wasps produce nests that are constructed predominantly from paper pulp. The kind of timber used varies from one species to another and this can give many species a nest of distinctive color. Social wasps also use other types of nesting material that become mixed in with the nest and it is common to find nests located near plastic pool or trampoline covers incorporating distinct bands of color that reflect the inclusion of these materials that have been chewed up and mixed with wood fibers to give a unique look to the nest. D. media and D. silvestris prefer to nest in trees and shrubs, others like V. germanica like to nest in cavities that include holes in the ground, spaces under homes, wall cavities or in lofts. By contrast solitary wasps are generally parasitic or predatory and only the latter build nests at all. Unlike honeybees, wasps have no wax-producing glands. Many, such as Polistes dominula, instead create a paper-like substance primarily from wood pulp. Wood fibers are gathered locally from weathered wood, softened by chewing and mixing with saliva. The pulp is then used to make combs with cells for brood rearing. More commonly, nests are simply burrows excavated in a substrate, or, if constructed, they are constructed from mud. Solitary wasps, the nesting habits of solitary wasps are more diverse than those of social wasps. Mud daubers and pollen wasps construct mud cells in sheltered places typically on the side of walls. Potter wasps similarly build vase-like nests from mud, often with multiple cells, attached to the twigs of trees or against walls. Most other predatory wasps burrow into soil or into plant stems, and a few do not build nests at all and prefer naturally occurring cavities, such as small holes in wood. One egg is laid in each cell, which is then sealed, so there is no interaction between the larvae and the adults, unlike in social wasps. In some species, male eggs are selectively placed on smaller prey, leading to males being generally smaller than females. Social wasps the nests of some social wasps, such as hornets, are first constructed by the queen and reach about the size of a walnut before sterile female workers take over construction. The queen initially starts the nest by making a single layer canopy and working outwards until she reaches the edges of the cavity. Beneath the canopy she constructs a stalk to which she can attach several cells. These cells are where the first eggs will be laid. The queen then continues to work outwards to the edges of the cavity after which she adds another tear. This process is repeated, each time adding a new tear until eventually enough female workers have been born and matured to take over construction of the nest leaving the queen to focus on reproduction. For this reason, 
the size of a nest is generally a good indicator of approximately how many female workers there are in the colony. Some hornets' nests eventually grow to be more than 50 centimeters across. Social wasp colonies of this size often have populations of between 3 and 10,000 female workers, although a small proportion of nests are over 90 centimeters across and potentially contain upwards of 20,000 workers and at least one queen. Nests close to one another at the beginning of the year have been observed to grow quickly and merge, and these structures can contain tens of thousands of workers. Some related types of paper wasps do not construct their nests in tiers but rather in flat single combs. Social wasp reproductive cycle Wasps do not reproduce via mating flights like bees. Instead social wasps reproduce between a fertile queen and male wasp. In some cases queens may be fertilized by the sperm of several males. After successfully mating, the male sperm cells are stored in a tightly packed ball inside the queen. The sperm cells are kept stored in a dormant state until they are needed the following spring. At a certain time of the year, the bulk of the wasp colony dies away, leaving only the young mated queens alive. During this time they leave the nest and find a suitable area to hibernate for the winter. First stage, after emerging from hibernation during early summer, the young queens search for a suitable nesting site. Upon finding an area for their colony, the queen constructs a basic wood fiber nest roughly the size of a walnut into which she will begin to lay eggs. Second stage, the sperm that was stored earlier and kept dormant over winter is now used to fertilize the eggs being laid. The storage of sperm inside the queen allows her to lay a considerable number of fertilized eggs without the need for repeated mating with a male wasp. For this reason a single queen is capable of building an entire colony by herself. The queen initially raises the first several sets of wasp eggs until enough sterile female workers exist to maintain the offspring without her assistance. All of the eggs produced at this time are sterile female workers who will begin to construct a more elaborate nest around their queen as they grow in number. Third stage, by this time the nest size has expanded considerably and now numbers between several hundred and several thousand wasps. Towards the end of the summer, the queen begins to run out of stored sperm to fertilize more eggs. These eggs develop into fertile males and fertile female queens. The male drones then fly out of the nest and find a mate thus perpetuating the wasp reproductive cycle. In most species of social wasp the young queens mate in the vicinity of their home nest and do not travel like their male counterparts do. The young queens will then leave the colony to hibernate for the winter once the other worker wasps and found a queen have started to die off. After successfully mating with a young queen, the male drones die off as well. Generally, young queens and drones from the same nest do not mate with each other. This ensures more genetic variation within wasp populations, especially considering that all members of the colony are theoretically the direct genetic descendants of the founder queen and a single male drone. In practice, however, colonies can sometimes consist of the offspring of several male drones. Wasp queens generally create new nests each year, probably because the weak construction of most nests render them uninhabitable after the winter. Unlike honeybee queens, wasp queens typically live for only one year. Also queen wasps do not organize their colony or have any raised status and hierarchical power within the social structure. They are more simply the reproductive element of the colony and the initial builder of the nest in those species which construct nests. Social wasp caste structure Not all social wasps have castes that are physically different in size and structure. For example, in many polystene paper wasps and stenogastrines, the castes of females are determined behaviorally, through dominance interactions, rather than having caste predetermined. All female wasps are potentially capable of becoming a colony's queen and this process is often determined by which female successfully lays eggs first and begins construction of the nest. Evidence suggests that females compete amongst each other by eating the eggs of other rival females. The queen may, in some cases, simply be the female that can eat the largest volume of eggs while ensuring that her own eggs survive. This process theoretically determines the strongest and most reproductively capable female and selects her as the queen. Once the first eggs have hatched, the subordinate females stop laying eggs and instead forage for the new queen and feed the young. That is, 
the competition largely ends, with the losers becoming workers, though if the dominant female dies, a new hierarchy may be established with a former worker acting as the replacement queen. Polistine nests are considerably smaller than many other social wasp nests, typically housing only around 250 wasps, compared to the several thousand common with yellow jackets, and stenogastrines have the smallest colonies of all, rarely with more than a dozen wasps in a mature colony. Habitat Wasps build their nests in a variety of places, often choosing sunny spots. Nests are commonly located in holes underground, along riverbanks or small hillocks, attached to the side of walls, trees or plants, or underneath floors or eaves of houses. Wasp nests are most easily found on sunny days at dawn or dusk as the low light levels make it easier to spot the wasps flying in and out of their nests. Wasps will attack and sting humans, particularly if threatened, so care should be taken around wasps and their nests. Wasp nests found in public places should be reported to the local council or pest control service for removal. Common families, again a D a Euro fig wasps, child day. Trisida d a euro cuckoo wasps, crabron a d a euro sad wasps and relatives, for example the cicada killer wasp, sinipa d a euro gall wasps, encitidae, yellowfidae, aeopelmidae, ichneumonidae, and brachinidae, mutilla d a euro velvet ants, mimaridae a euro fairy flies, pompula d a euro spider wasps, teramolidae, cellionidae, scalia d a euro scolied wasps, Sfsudania euro digger wasps, Tophi d a euro flower wasps, Toromidae, Trichogrammatidae, Vespa d a euro common wasp, Yellow jackets, Hornets, Paper wasps, Potter wasps, Pollen wasps, see also, Advertising coloration, Bee and wasp stings, Bee eaters, Bird predators of wasps, Characteristics of common wasps and bees, German wasp, Mud daubers, a common group of wasps, Schmidtstein pain index, Sphex pensylvanicus, Tarantula hawk, Volicilla pellucens, references. External links, differences between bees and wasps, a pictorial life cycle of organ pipe wasps, phylogeny of the order Hymenoptera contrasting the groups discussed in this article, Medline Encyclopedia NIH. A Euro insect bites and stings, and a section regarding how to prevent them, Wasweb. Dermnet Arthropods Bites